Welcome back, folks. We got a great show for you today. We got Fran Z. <laughs> First time on camera. Last time she was just audio. So we got now a face with the name. And oh my gosh, Fran, how's <laughs> payroll been treating you? Payroll's been good after the bankruptcy, which I'm actually still I know doing you are. Stuff. Of course you are. Of course. With that, it's, it, it mm -hmm. never ends. Yep. I've been in my new position about three months. Congrats. So I'm... I'm now in the spot where I can start changing some things, some some really best good. practices. Right. For the better. <laughs> For the better. Oh, definitely. Right. Take some of theirs, take some of my past yes. experience, put it all together. There you go. Yeah. And, uh, you know, and it's always tough with working with new teams in that case and change and change management. Yeah. But, you know, I think yeah. I think they, you know, you, you're doing a great job, I'm sure. Yeah. That's always. Awesome. That's awesome. So Fran has gotten together some best practices for us today last time we talked she just kept on spitting out these nuggets and then sharing so much knowledge with us that we were like wait a minute how do we capture those best practices from you so she put some time into it for us she's going to share it with us i'm going to give you the floor and yes. you go ahead and walk us through Walt. you got any questions but my <laughs> man well i'm sorry man i'm so caught up with fran <laughs> What's no, up, this Walt, is this, this, this is about you? Fran, man. Like I'm, I know, but I'm excited. I know. Appreciate you though, but Fran, I'm excited to learn from Fran today and have her walk us through and just share her knowledge with uh, the payroll community. So, thank you though. Yeah, of course, right. man. I can't forget you. <laughs> well, well, thank you both so much. First off, for everything that you do for the payroll community. Um, as I said last time, I basically share. You know, your link with everybody. I'm like, you oh, want to know thank payroll? You very much. You oh listen my to god! <laughs> oh my gosh! Thank you. Uh, thank you. So, thank you yeah. so much. That means everything to us. That's why that makes it all worth it for yeah. us. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm an it's about payroll groupie. So, <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. That's it. We've reached. That's it. We're rock stars now. That's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> but yeah, it it best practices are are so important in getting the payroll process because if you don't start out right you're not going to end right facts so much of it is is really auditing and that's what everything comes down to um i mean you can calculate a time card you can enter it in but if you don't audit it it really doesn't matter the pay isn't going to be right yeah a, a, a lot of what I do in, I guess, the prep part of it, getting all of your backup together, making sure that, you know, the, the first step, your employee change report, some systems have them, some systems don't. So it's difficult. And who owns the entry? Who owns the auditing? Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> Even though where I am now, we don't own the employee data part of it, right. it's still going into my payroll that I'm producing. Right. Right. So I'm going to check everything. I'm going to make sure that the entry is right, that the decimals are in the right spot, that the taxes are, are set up correctly. So you want to basically start there. You want to start with your employee change report for a better, better word, making sure that everything's set and and go through because that's that's your launching pad uh but also getting payroll set you need a checklist what yes. do i need to do from start to finish to get a payroll done mm -hmm. whether it be what batches am i going to put in who's checking it who's entering it yep. then you've also got the what am i expecting there are certain items that are only done once a month or if you've got a bi-weekly payroll and there are three paychecks in there it's twice a month so you want to make sure that on that third payroll that you're not getting those deductions out or you're not getting those living allowance or car allowance posted and the only way to remember that is with the checklist and yep. you can be as little or as as you know specific in there it all depends on your team mm. um 
interesting. And Absolutely. I'm going to say, I'm going to say audit and check back a lot today. Yep. <laughs> da- data validation. Yeah. Absolutely. It, you know, it, it's like you, you definitely want that validation because okay. one thing that's wrong can actually mess up an entire payroll. Yeah. And, and if you right. don't check it in, in the beginning, who knows what you're going to end up with. So that's, that's, what's very important. And, and, making sure everybody's got their assigned duties to get it done. And it's not like the same person always has to audit. You want to mix it up so that everybody learns. It's you always have your, your specialist, but you want to make sure that you share the knowledge. So everybody needs to do it. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I mean, I came from a SOC audit background. So, so SOC, what does that mean? Tell, tell oh, folks sorry. that don't know what SOC. No, it's okay. <laughs> sorry. Sarbanes-Oxley, back in, yep. I guess it was the early 2000s, it came into play. And where I worked at the time, my department was the only one who didn't complain about it because we already did that. You are, we already crossed our T's and dotted our I's. We just had to add an extra signature to everything that we were doing. So for us, it was not a big deal. Right. Other departments, not so much. But, and SOC, but that, and I'm sorry, just to, and SOX is specifically for publicly traded companies. Yeah, is that right? For pub- okay. publicly traded. My last company was not publicly traded, but it didn't it's matter. I standards. still brought that in. That's I, right. I That's made right. sure it's because. It's a good standard to set. Yep. Yeah. You, you want to make sure. <laughs> you want to make yeah. sure you're doing it right. Yep. But, but going back with the checklist and the employee change reports, you want to make sure, are there rate changes in there? Are there yep. retro calculations that are going to need to be done? Yep. Do you have new states that you're going to have to set up for tax new purposes? States. Yep. In New York, you've got like New York City tax. You could work in New York City, but not live there. So you don't have to pay that tax anymore. Thank mm-hmm. goodness. In the 90s, that changed. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's also an employer tax that needs to get set up. It's an MTA tax, but you have to be within the MTA blueprint. Um, So if you've got a location that's out of it, you're not going to pay it. Uh, So yes, yes, it was, it was very, basically when it first came into play, it was like, okay, where does the MTA, where does the subway go? Where does Metro North go? Long Island Railroad. Right. And, and that's how, how we determined what we were doing there. Hmm. So, so that is a, is a big thing. Definitely took a while to get it into place as soon. Now it's standard practice, Yep. but, uh, but it, it's very important when you're checking to make sure that you have all of that going in with the, the employee changes. Do you pay out PTO for termination, terminated employees? That's right. Great cool. Making yep. sure you calculate that. Is there a cap on it? Is it in the state that if your company doesn't pay it out, you have to pay it out anyway, like California? Do you also, if you are checking and you have a terminated employee, are they in an immediate pay state? You have to juggle that a little bit differently. An immediate pay state, there are, and I don't remember exactly how many at the moment. No, of course. No. But like in California, if you are, and, and we kind of go back there because they have most of those rules. Mm-hmm. If you're it's always if you're terminated immediately, you've got to have your pay when you walk out the door. If you resign and give your notice, if it's, I, I believe it's if under two weeks, it's 72 hours. If it's under, it's immediate. And you've got to pay everything out. So you need to make sure you have that plan in place. Some companies will have pay cards or checks. The, the, mm-hmm. there, there are like pay card checks that they'll yep. have at the locations oh, where yeah. the payroll department will do all the calculations, mm-hmm. get everything funded, and then it'll be written out by the location itself. Yep. So you, you need to have all of that plan in place. And that's working with finance and with HR and letting them understand the importance of notification, Mm -hmm. Um, you know, back to a, you know, sidebar, had a situation where 
we didn't get a notification in a week after somebody was was terminated they called mm -hmm. up and said where's my check and we're like we didn't know you were terminated mm -hmm. having to get all of that out and within an hour we had a check going fedex to the gentleman the next day so it's it's that communication expressing yeah. the importance of it um so yeah let's, let's go back to payroll processing as I <laughs> <laughs> That's a good sidebar because I yeah. think if correct me if I'm wrong, but I think there is some states, I don't know if it's Cali, but I know in one state, the long the longer you wait, you have to pay them a, a, a day. Oh for, recall out. That's right. There's a penalty. Yes. Delay, there's right? a pe yes. Oh yes. my gosh. What and, a great call out. And so many states are different. There are some states that are five yes, business it's states, state by some state, that are for sure. seven. Yeah. Some are, you know. Yep. you know, 15 days or the next payroll processing. Yeah. So it's knowing what you have. And, and when you've got, let's say, a large layoff that's coming up, because uh, companies have that, you need to go in and determine what's the, the best way to get it. And usually you just yep. say, what's the earliest you need it? And everybody gets it then. It just makes it so much easier to process. I like that. Yeah, it's, it's, it's rough. And but that kind of segues into the next, which is time and attendance. Uh, so, yes. <laughs> so I I absolutely love time and attendance and the systems. Um, you know, use one of the the big box ones, mm -hmm. and I I've been using it for about twenty years in multiple jobs. And oh wow, the same one. Yeah. That's lucky. Yeah. Oh, I and so of course I have all my contacts when things go so wrong. So you're I'm like. <laughs> expert beyond guru for that it, oh my it, gosh if if people need to figure out how to do things i'm like just hold <sighs> on let, let me go back That's you know awesome. so yeah I, I suck in whatever they want to tell me i'm just going to take it all in and and use it in the future because that's what you need uh so what i've learned along the way for this particular time in attendance there are things called quick navs. There are quick navigations where you can view. I create them so it'll show me all the different pay codes that are going to be processed in that payroll. And, and I'll export a group and compare it to what it pulls. Make sure that it's pulling all the data. data do my validate. Oh, definitely. Yep. That, that's so important. And nine times out of 10, when they don't, they don't match up, it's because I forgot to put a pay code in there. So it's like, okay, let's add a new pay code and <laughs> redo the audit. It's um, mm -hmm. the lookups are my best friends. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that yep. and concatenations. Yeah, as long as you yep. have those yes. two yes. in Excel, you're going Pivots. Pivots are important. Yes. Uh, yep. Pivots now. The old Excel pivots were not fun. Oh, I don't even remember. I, I just started, like, I just got oh. the pivots in the last few years. <laughs> P pivots used to automatically default to count, not sum. And if oh, you yeah. forgot to change it from mm -hmm. sum to count, yeah, it's, yeah. It still does that. It still does that. Uh, <laughs> and you got to uh, change so it. Somehow or another, <laughs> mine defaults to sum now. I, I learned it the hard way. It might be version. It might be say, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely learn the hard way how to, yep. how to do that. Um, um, but but you're, you're checking okay, in sorry. there. You're, oh, no, no, that's okay. I'm just trying to, you know. Get what I have, because you know I can totally go off on tangents. <laughs> it's so easy with this stuff too. Let me tell you, you you're giving me chills with the stuff that you're talking. Like it's just I, mean, I, I look, I got my, I'm taking notes literally. Yeah. I'm always available if you got questions. Don't you worry. <laughs> but yeah, you're going. You want to go through with the time cards for reasonability for overtime. Yes. Payroll is not yep. responsible to make sure that it's accurate because we're not there with them. We have people all over the country, so I'm not in every location to see what they work. But we know that people sometimes forget the AMs and the PMs, and all of a sudden you've got 12 extra hours on mm -hmm. there. And it, so, so you're checking for, for reasonability, and then you'll reach out to the managers and just say, just want to make sure it's okay. Because nine times out of 10, you're now correcting a time card. Mm -hmm. Because based on the state that you're in, it's not as easy to recoup an overpayment. 
That's right. So That's right. certain states, you have to get it done in the next pay period. Other states, you have to get it done. You have to have written permission to That's do it. it. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's what are you doing? And, you know, worst case scenario, can you get that direct deposit back before it hits the bank and then get a new one in there? <laughs> Been there, done that? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, you know, yeah. Put we it back, it. write a check. I'm sending it out FedEx. <laughs> yep. So, you know, so, so you want to make sure in a time and attendance system, you also want to make sure about missed punches. Because if you've got a missed punch, if, if your system's not set up to stop you from pulling the payroll, then somebody's going to be missing hours. Yes. And, yep. and what is that going to be the impact? It, it could impact somebody more than you know. Yep. So you want to make sure, make sure all those missing punches are taken care of. Some of the other things with, with time and attendance are holidays that come in. Certain companies have it set up where you need to work the day before and the day after. And if you don't have schedules in your time and attendance system, you don't know if they're scheduled or not. You have to assume, and you know how much we hate to assume, yes. the manager is checking it. So, again, you're checking for reasonability and doing the best that you can. Mm-hmm. Mistakes will still go through, but you need to do what you can to try and stop them before it happens. Yeah, so once you you pull the payroll in, the next you're coming to is pay data batches. And I don't know what they call it now because a lot of places. I was just going to say, what, <laughs> tell, tell us what that means, right? Because I think pay data batch is very unique to our you know vernacular because we've used the big box. What does that mean in general? Tell us. In, in general. So if you've got special pay that has to go in, or, or even the time that's coming in, it's going into a batch. And and it's a file. It's the there information you that, that you are looking at specific. Um, and I am a huge importer. I love yeah. import batches because what? I don't so like is Walt. To waste, <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't like to waste keystrokes that's my whole thing it's like if i could do it in a batch let's get it done so i'm constantly doing that but some of the issues with batches is when you're doing your v lookups and you're bringing in the unique identifier per person if somebody has the same name well if you don't match it up correctly this person can get paid when it's supposed to be this person so you're checking your pay data dash to make sure it's the correct file number, it's the correct name. I go down to also checking status. Of Terminated active status? Active, okay. yes. Had a situation last year where I was given a file and they said, no, we matched it up, everybody's fine. And when it went in, there were two people with the same name and they used the wrong file number. Uh. And so what ended up happening, luckily it was only updates for gift cards. So it's not terrible. Right. It wasn't by a whole check. Right. Right. So somebody didn't get the wrong money, but if we didn't do the validation, we would have had W2s going out to incorrect employees. Yep. Yep. So that, that definitely runs into an issue. So you, you want to make sure and, you know, take your little pen out and do the check marks. I, I print them um, old school that way. It's like I like to have my things printed next to each sure. other. Check all, all the boxes, staple nice. together, initial, and okay, it's there. Um, so that that's kind of where I go in. So you you definitely want to review. It's take as much time as you need to audit your payroll before it goes out. Because if you don't spend the time in the beginning, it's going to take you twice as long after to get it corrected. Once everything's in, there are certain payroll systems that allow you to run a preview. Mm -hmm. And back in the day, that didn't exist. Mm -hmm. So you were... That's right. You were previewing your payroll once you got it back. And it was... (laughs) Oh, yeah, that that was... 
you get it back <laughs> early so like oh wait we could fix this because it hasn't hit yeah. yet and we might be yeah. able to... oh man oh, i remember that yeah I remember I, that. Oh gosh, we're dating I, I worked, ourselves, though. Oh, I know. <laughs> I, I worked for a company in the early 2000s that we had 14,000 people, mm -hmm. and we had about 14 people in the payroll department. You know, payroll admins, and the payroll would come in. You're like checking your your register and like going page by page, making sure everything's okay. Wow. Yeah, especially like with benefits at the end of the quarter, because you oh. know you can't refund. Yep. benefits from one quarter in the next mm -hmm. without doing an amendment prior year yep <laughs> so it's like it, so i love previews and totally utilize them but you're you're when you get your preview you need to check to make sure well did my payroll go up five hundred thousand dollars did it go down what are you expecting to see my guideline has always been 10% greater than or less than the previous payroll. Okay. Unless you, unless you get exceptions in. You get or unless have, your company's more strict. We did 5% for a while, right? Well, you still do 5%? Yeah. Uh, then, no, we, I, we were like, hey, whoa, we got to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, well, it, you're going in there. And, and I go down. So you get your total gross, but then I go down and it's, Based on the number of pay groups you have or companies that you have that you're paying, I'll go by department or by pay code and then drill down even more. Had a situation where I worked for a company that every year they would run specials in like October, November to get ready for the new year. So the overtime was usually 20% higher. Oh, wow. So I, I, after the first year I had that, I worked it out with the, the manager in the area to say, okay, you're going to tell me what I'm expecting so that mm -hmm. I'm not, not wasting time, but utilizing time in one area yep. that I could put it towards some, somewhere else. Mm -hmm. And I, so, and of course, then you put notes on that total sheet to say, okay, <laughs> this happened here or this was there or in New York, it was snow and you had to close the building. Yep. So you're putting all of that into, you can look at it. And that company, I was there for about four years. So I knew every year this month, I was going to have extremely high overtime. Yep. And I knew what to expect. But of course, I would always reach out and say, "Is it still coming up?" So trust but verify. Trust exactly. But verify. That's right. Definitely. That's right. But 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 that's so important because again, sometimes it's by the department. Sometimes it's as drilled down as the actual yep. pay code. That's right. So so you need to to make sure what you have there. And it depends on your company right. too, right? It's mm -hmm. like, you know, every company has a different threshold for things, right? Just because we use five, friend uses 10, doesn't mean it's right or wrong. It's just whatever is working for you guys, right? And you, you said something that I just wanted to point out because me and Walt talk about it all the time. It's like, you never really know a company until you've been like almost a full 12 to 24 month cycle, mm -hmm. depending on when you started. So you, you get, then you kind of, you learn what the expectation, the behaviors are, and you'll learn yes. what to expect the next year. So that was a really good call. Yes. Out. I'm sorry. It, 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 oh, no, it's it's the patterns. It's knowing uh, yep. what you're looking trends. at. Which trend, yes. yeah, what's going to trend, exactly. And, right. and it's, it's definitely, you know, it, it's key because you don't panic when all right. of a sudden you see something that's, right. that's so much higher. You're like, wait a right. minute, oh, yeah, that's what's going on now. That's what's going on, exactly. So... It, 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 I don't know. It definitely takes on a life of itself yes. when you're when you're yeah. auditing. It's yeah. like it's um, behaviors. I call it I call it behaviors. You know, and it's the, probably behaviors is not the right word. Expect, but that's what I call it. Like when you when you know that retail bunch is going to spike in October, it's an employee behavior group behavior type yes. of thing. You know, and when you look at the pair, oh, I know. Oh yeah, that's right. These guys do overtime every year this time. And you can prep the team. Hey, folks, expect, you know, ABC company over here. They're going to spike. Oh, you know? definitely. 
definitely. Yeah. It, 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 they they make us, I guess, a little less challenged when it comes to that to know what you're expecting. Mm. Uh, other things that I, I like to check while I'm doing the payroll is I, I audit benefits. Um, okay. One company that I was in, we actually used to pull a report and make sure that your total benefits that were coming out of the payroll, mm -hmm. plus the unused deductions, which are the deductions that you're unable to withhold because they're not mm -hmm. making enough money or they're on a leave of absence or whatever is yep. happening, or additional benefits because they weren't here and now you're mm -hmm. taking the retro benefits out. Yep. So we, I, I want to do it there because, again, going back to the, if it's you're crossing quarters, it's not as easy to fix. Right. Um, yeah, yeah, because you're dealing with what's pre-tax, what's after-tax. Yep. So you want to check it there. It it definitely helps. I'm I'm starting to work on that now because it's going to again save you in the long run. Mm -hmm. uh, the most important when it comes to benefits actually is the beginning of the year when all of those deduction amounts change. Reset. That's right. Are yeah, are we looking at this year's deductions or last year's deductions? Or in some cases, are we looking at both because the old ones didn't end and mm. the new ones started? Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Been there done that. Been there done that. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yes, it's it, you know, and that that's kind of where the teamwork with the other departments come into play. That's right. Because if if you don't have that relationship with HR and benefits, you can't get your tools that you need to do your job. Um, even though right. theoretically it's not part of my job, but it is mm -hmm. because whatever is produced in payroll. I'm responsible for my team is responsible for That's right. because you know the it employee out on the street they're not going to say oh well HR did something they're nope. going to go we call it payroll it my yep. check is messed up I'm calling payroll doesn't <laughs> yes. matter whose fault it is right we've said it so many times it mm -hmm. just it starts with payroll and that's our opportunity to be a great professional and say hey you know what I'm going to help you out you know even though we know it's not our you know exactly it's and 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 the other thing, as as little as it is, is I've been so many places where they're like, well, HR did it, or this one did it. It's no. like, we'll get it fixed. We'll yeah, work right. together. That's yeah. Right. It, it, right. In my notes that I sent you, my, my bottom line there, which yep. I say it all the time, <laughs> teamwork Team makes the dream so work. Right. And it's within your department. It's, it's, it's who you partner with as well, because nobody sees us really nobody's supposed to know who payroll is that's right you know, they could payroll ninjas we're in the background <laughs> exactly exactly but then when they find out ooh, you're from uh -huh. payroll. yes oh gosh oh I'm... oh <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yes it's so true sometimes it's so good true. well you know it's like yep. it's, it's nice yeah I, but that that's primarily the payroll process itself for yep. for best practices and making sure you go back and everything on your checklist has been checked off. And yep. if it's not checked off, why? Is it yep. it doesn't apply to Make the payroll, yep. but it's all there. Documentation. Yep. It, it, that's the key to everything. Mm -hmm. I had an old manager, a former manager, who she would create documentation and taught me how to create documentation mm -hmm. that now, and unless you're from this area, you're not going to know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's an old grocery store called Wallbounds, mm -hmm. And it used to be, I used to work on my first job. <laughs> say, okay. You know, so, yep. so we used to say anybody walking in from Wallbounds, they can do it from start to finish. They may not know what they're doing or why they're doing, but right. they know all the steps of how to do it. And I would have documentation and I would, I would do like bonus runs or PTO payouts at the end of every year. And I, I was with this company for 14 or 13 years and it didn't matter every year. I pull out the documentation. I do it. Most of the time I never even opened it, but it was there. Oh, 
And it was the same steps every year to get it done, but you had your documentation. That's you know, awesome. I, I always say if I win lotto and I'm gone. That's right. I always look at the positive. Yep. You want to make sure that everything is still done correctly. Yep. And I'm so it's glad no. you said that because I, I you know, I, anybody that I work with, Walter can tell you, I, you know, when, when me and Walter start for I, the first thing I told him was like, Hey, I'm going to train you to take my job. Mm-hmm. And it, he was like, well, what is this? This guy's bugging out, you know, <laughs> but that's, that's, that's how you have to do it. It's plug and play, right? You got to be able to be able to, Hey, you got to do this job now. Here's, here's how you do it. Plug and play. And sometimes it makes teams nervous, but you know, hoarding the work you and you being the only one that knows how to do something is not job security right because if i walk into that team and that's the behavior guess what i'm going to need to reshuffle things you're going to get it's Mm -hmm. going to be upheaval because we have to have that sop standard operating procedures we have to have your documentation you have to be able to just like you said they may not know exactly what they're doing but they're going to get through the whole process because Mm -hmm. the documentation is flawless it's great it, it 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 is the key and it has helped me uh, throughout the years from, right. you know, I mean, I haven't had that many jobs, but whatever I've had, they're with me. I mean, my pay data batch import, they come along with me and it, and it tells me how to import. Luckily, I'm yep. with the same big box most of yeah, the time. That's, that's super, lo- yeah, no, you've been <laughs> blessed in that manner, yeah. That's yes. Right. Yes. You've been able to become a guru. So. That's why you're at Guru Left. I'm like in awe of you right now, for sure. <laughs> Thank so. You. Yeah. It's, Thank you, you know, for sharing. That, that's that's what 30 plus years does for you. <laughs> it's like, but it, but it, it, it's great. You learn as you go. It, it, some of the other like best practices off outside of the regular process has to do with quarterly audits. Mm-hmm. You want to make sure, because if, if you are out of balance after Q1, mm-hmm. how are you going to get your W2s done at the end of the year? Yep. I Sorry. I will go through and I'm going to grab my wage and tax registers, my preview W-2s, and I'm not sure what they're called in all the companies, but where I am, they're, they're master controls. And they have certain items that you're going to balance across the board to make sure everything goes down and that you're going to balance. Because nobody, January 5th, wants to go, oh my gosh, I'm out of balance. Yep. Where is that? Way what late. isn't? Yep. And, you know, so, so you, if you're, if you're not set up correctly in the beginning, it's just going to flow down Uh, Um, because of like with the, the MTA tax that I mentioned earlier and local taxes, I put in quarterly tax audits where I'm making sure that if this is where you live and work this is how you're set up in taxes and make whatever corrections you need to make. Because honestly, it's like come April 15th, you don't want to get that phone call from the employee saying you taxed me wrong. Yes, it is the employee's responsibility to look at their paycheck. Yep. They have an onus for sure. But but it's still got to come back to us. That's right. That's right. So yeah, so yeah. so we want to make sure, and and all of these audits that can be very tedious, it it just saves you so much headache down the road. Yeah, you yeah. know, and that's and that's a big a a big plus is getting those audits in when you have the downtime mm-hmm. means that you're not going to be stressing and struggling when you have no time to that's get right. it done. It's, yep. you know, it, it's the preparation is, yep. is definitely the key. We were just um, talking about being prepared and, and, you know, the opposite. If you're not being prepared and you, you're being reactionary, you do a lot of repairing and fixing because yeah. the lack of the prep broke things. Yes. And, yeah. and, and the key, though, is to learn from your mistakes because we Absolutely. all make them. Yep. And it, so much of what I learned, have learned over the years is, is from mistakes that were made earlier, whether they be mine or somebody else's, if you can't learn from it, then there's a problem. Every yep. mistake right. happens for a reason yep. and everything can be fixed. Yep. You just need to make sure that you can, that you do it. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. And, I mean- and 
I mean, I share my knowledge with wherever I go. I just, I want to share. I'm like, but I also want everybody to share with me. Yep. Because yeah, we, we still have stuff to learn. Nobody knows everything in payroll. Are you kidding me? It's oh, no. too vast. There's no way. And there's things that you've done in industry that I've never done and vice versa, you know? <laughs> so it's, 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 inc- it's just, a, a we need that connection, that community to start sharing the knowledge to your point, because it's too much. There's so much of it. You know, you oh. made me think about a, a book that me and Walt read through principles by Ray Dalio or Diallo. Um, and he talks about okay. radical transparency and, and, you know, radical honesty. And one of the things that he championed in, in his company was actually documenting the mistakes, mm-hmm. bringing, bringing them to everybody's, you know, knowledge, like really talking about it and correcting from there. You know, he actually penalized and again, like if you didn't bring a mistake, oh, they, they caught it and you didn't report it. That was the problem. Like, no, you're not going to be reprimanded or, you know, no, no, we, we need to learn from this mistake as a whole instead of hiding it and fixing it in a silo. And yeah. then you never learn from that experience. And but I think folks are so uh, like they're scared of that. They're like, oh, wait a minute. What do you mean? I, I should raise my hand when I make a mistake and tell everybody mm-hmm. that is like count, counter to what we've learned as yeah. humans, you know, growing up. So it's that. But it's 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 it's. it's it's so true and it's so true to payroll. And I think that's mm-hmm. why we connected with this book so much because it just, it translated so much into our work that, you know, it, it really made a difference when you document these issues, you can learn and build from them. They're not to punish. It's to learn and build. So it, thank it, you for it, that. Oh, uh, it's on a little, little sidebar. When I first started doing payroll, I was probably doing about three or four years solely payroll. I was working in the entertainment industry and there was a very, very big mistake on a very, very popular person's name. And it created a negative check. Now we know there can't, there's never such a thing as a negative check, but that's what it created. And I'm like, okay, this is what happened. And it, and it, Back then, you didn't have the same technology you have right. now. Uh, I really feel old. But it was like, okay, we identified it. Here are my solutions to, to rectify it. But now I have to call the production company. Oh. And everybody was, as I was walking in to make that phone call, they're like, yeah, it's been nice knowing you. Oh. I, so wow. I, I went in, I called, and especially because the person who was working on it was very tough. And I called and I said, listen, this is what happened. This is why it happened. But here are the three options we have to correct it. Right. And her response was like, okay, thanks for calling. Do option three. And I came out. I'm like, okay, this is what we're doing. And everyone's like, wait, you still have you a job? You didn't get fired? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, I'm not trying to hide behind That's something. Right. You need to be upfront because yeah, if I, I try to hide that, oh, my gosh. That's worse. It, you know, and, and it all it was was just it wasn't checking the taxes that were set up before the payroll was processed. There you go. That's uh, that was that was the whole problem. Yep. But I'm like, but this is what it is, and I mean, obviously, that created a huge foundation with my relationship with that particular production company. Yeah. It, it, it's gonna happen. It's yep. like you know, it's like, but That's but awesome. here's the yeah. solution. That's right. So, so that is, that's key. I learned early on, it's not about the mistake. It's about the solution. Exactly. And you learn from your mistakes because guess what? That never, ever, ever happened to me again. (laughs) Ever again. Exactly. (laughs) That's right. Yeah. That's right. There was one more item that I wanted to just touch on. No, I'm with you. And, and that has to do with file saving your documentation now everything mm-hmm. is electronic files mm-hmm. it, it, it's how you set up those shared folders yep. so that everybody understands what goes where yep. and it's not like you have to do what i say let's all get together are right. we breaking it down by year then going down to pay period or by company code and pay period mm-hmm. 
depending on what you have. Mm -hmm. So that this way, if somebody asks you a question about what happened in week three, you can just go to week three Boom. and everything's there and you yep. know yep. what happened. Yep. Or if you want to go back and you look at a pay stub of somebody of, of where a change happened, you can go right back and see what, what's the backup for that payroll. Yep. What do we have, whether, you know, it just be your pay data batches or any notes or any emails. And I mean, I, people just spread things all over. They, they're so into, okay, we need to make a something for files over here, something for taxes over here. I'm like, no. like where am no. I looking for it? Yep. So, but everybody has to be on the same page. Mm -hmm. You can't just say, we're going to do it this way. It you got to make it intuitive. Sense. Right, it has yeah. to be. It has, it has to be intuitive. How, how, how? And again, how would you tell somebody talk, build it like you're gonna explain it to somebody new that's coming mm -hmm. in the door? Mm -hmm. And hey, go find this for me. Yeah. Build it like that so that they know they can be. It, it's, it's you know what I mean. But yeah, yep. that's that's a it's a huge call out because it's a <laughs> it's an easy oversight and so often our files get so like oh they're all spread out. And mm -hmm. I would even throw another one in there as don't trust your system alone because all the systems we have, they have the files saved for us. But guess what? What happens if you move systems? Now, where's your reports? Where's your backup? Is it only on their cloud? Because guess what? They're going to charge you a mint to mm -hmm. get that information. All of it, which you could have been saving all along the way and save your company that money. Uh -huh. So it should it should have redundancies. It should be on your vendor, but should it also should be on your share drive. And you should ask IT if your share drive is has a redundancy, and making sure that is copied over on a regular basis. So that's what I need to yep. check now. Yep. <laughs> I yep. don't know if I've got that. I, I'm assuming I do, but you know what mm -hmm. happens when you assume. So yeah, and you know I wanted to give you a call out. You said you you like paper and you skin and make. What would, mm -hmm. do you do you scan that back in after you're done? Yes. Oh, it's, so no call out for you. There you go. I'm making, <laughs> confirming. It, That's what I'm oh, talking about. I love it. Started doing that at the company I was in right before the pandemic hit. Oh. Wow. So See, that we, sixth sense just did it for you. Like that, the spidey sense just. Uh, wow. Well, it it because we for sox audit. They're like, they oh, would yep. want certain That's things right. and you don't want to go and have to grab the paper from the file. And they literally want to see the ticks and ties on the yeah. paper. I've had auditors say, oh, good, you're ticking. You're checking mm -hmm. it off on the paper. They're like, great, this is great. Yeah. I was like, what the heck? Oh, my God. Yeah, I was like, but that's yeah. just, I, I need to How do that is. to know that it was done. What I, I, I do have to give a, you know, major praise to, the, to where I was when the pandemic hit. Mm. We went in three days going from completely paper driven payrolls to completely electronic online wow. backup we three utilized days. yeah we were able to wow. change everything and make sure everybody had the right the right adobe so that they can audit i mean edit and, edit, and file yeah. so you can yep. put your check marks in there yep. and wow. wow and that's awesome and it, 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 now it's like, I don't want to go back to just always the paper, you know, to, to <laughs> do right. it. Yeah. But it's like, but, but you'll take it and then you scan it up there. So you have everything. That's right. And scan it's, it and in. it's all there. It's yep. that, that was huge. Did not skip a beat for that first payroll after, wow. after it hit. Preparation. So, That's what preparation yes. is about. Yeah. And, and found out that, okay, you know, on iPhones, when you do, because, then you had to leave with everything. Sign. There's a little scan yes. in the notes where you can scan yes. it. So whatever wasn't scanned at the office, everybody scanned. <laughs> wow. Hey, that works. Yeah. iPhone solved a huge problem for us when they first came out. We, I was at a staffing agency and folks had problems getting us the timesheets. They were like scanning them. No, not scanning. They were um, faxing. <laughs> they were trying to fax it in. And we were like, we didn't get the fax. And it was my payroll coordinator at the time. Um, that really figured, he's like, wait a minute, smartphone, can you take a picture of it and send it? That was it. He changed, he, he improved the mm -hmm. process just with that little thing. Take a yeah. picture. I was like, dude, brilliant. You know what yeah. I mean? Oh and yeah. Boom. yeah. And that was it. That solved it. That was our, it was amazing. So yeah, little things like that. Yeah.
Yeah, yeah. definitely. We're problem solvers. That's the thing. Payroll people, right. you know, we want to solve some problems. Yes. We got to. We got to solve we're su- problems. We're superheroes. That's right. <laughs> That's right. That's right. You're you are definitely our superhero fan for sure. For sure. Uh, for sure. Thank you again. The teamwork. Oh, you're very welcome. It's, it's, it's been amazing. It, it is. Is, did you cover everything you want to cover? I feel like you could cover it. I I think I did. Yeah, I, I, think I, so I, def- too. I definitely think I did. Of course, you know, there's so many other things because all these, you know, processes, improvements documentation they're all living and breathing and that's what everybody has to remember is that just because it's in black and white like on the page doesn't mean that it's set in stone it can change it you have to be able to evolve and make changes as they come around because you know it's like yes back in the old days we did this but it's now we need to update yeah Yeah. (laughs) and 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 that's everybody it's like just you know i i tell everybody listen this is the way that i do it this is the way it works for me doesn't mean that it's going to work for you the same way doesn't mean it's the best way so by all means give me your input let's put it into place because you're going to teach me something and i'm going to be like oh my god i mean that's right it was that's right the little okay little convert to numbers in excel like when you have yep Yep. So somebody showed me how to do that. I was like, change oh my your life. God. Right? Yeah. Totally. Little things. Little <laughs> things. Yeah. Yep. Walt see, teaches me stuff like that with Excel, especially. He'd be like, oh, Brian, do this. That. And I'm like, oh, snap. Okay. Well, thank totally. you. So now I, I have my new contact when I have an Excel question. Is that what you're saying? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, no, Walt's good. Walt's good. Yeah. He's the one that uh, taught me how to format There's little things that changed the way I worked. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So. And that's, again, back to the sharing community of the knowledge and, you know, yes. don't don't hold it in. You got to share it. For me, if, you know, I, I learned and read early on, if you're not sharing the knowledge, then it's not worth it. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, that's yeah. that's amazing. I mean, Fran, I, I have three pages of notes here <laughs> of things that you said. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You, you, need to, you. Uh, you need to put this in a training. <laughs> yep. It. <laughs> yep. Yep. Exactly right. Exactly right. Yeah. You. We. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Thank. I mean, I'm in awe of you, Fran. Thank you so much. Yeah. For real. Thank you. I hope y'all take notes because if there's <laughs> any new payroll people that have listened to this show, Fran has just given you free game, yes. <laughs> free knowledge, Absolutely. right? And uh, and I hope you enjoy it and everyone and and yeah. all any closing remarks and no, right. I, I mean, how can, how do you follow Fran? Really, like. You can, there's not much yeah, to, say. We, to say. We, yeah, we, thank you so much. We, we, I hope you come back again. We'll, we'll figure out Please. other things to come and have you back. Because uh, I, I'm again, not doing too much more traveling. Okay. So, oh, you know, oh, really? You know. Oh, yeah. Cause, oh my God. <laughs> Since the last time we had Fran on, she's been like traveling the world, and we're like, Fran, when? Are you, <laughs> holy crap! I'm like, hey, can, this this recording has been like months in the making because she's just been a globe trotter so but yeah, we, yeah. hey we're happy to wait for you it's well worth the wait thank yeah, you so yeah. much for this i mean i again i i'm gonna have a ton of follow-up because i have been writing notes down and made me think of a, a ton of things and we hope to have you back again of course and um you just you actually the episode that drops today is overtime and we t- it's like oh. it, you couldn't have possibly heard it you didn't hear it that hasn't <laughs> out but you said things on from like on that, that we talked about i was like i was like wait th- is that show out already no it comes out today yeah, so, i'm waiting for my notification to drop oh, that it's okay. ready so. <laughs> cool, cool. <laughs> yep you'll you'll get it for sure um and, I, and we'll leave it at that, folks. I mean, thank you so much, Fran, for being a part of the show, for being a friend yeah. of the show. And and we're, we're here we are because folks like you just supporting. You've given us incredible, incredible validation that we're, that what we're doing is helpful and it's meaningful. Yeah. And, you know, um, we, we keep we, and for that, we are just cranking it up and doing a ton of more stuff. And thank you, everybody, for reaching out. Walt, thank you, my brother. <laughs> All good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fran, again, enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Thank you Thank for you. getting out here early after you've globe trotted, 
by the, <laughs> last night and you're only on a few hours of sleep last i mean i can't oh my gosh you're tr- she's, she's really a trying to be you you're trying to be you exactly we're trying to grow up and be superhero. like you for real our yeah. superhero our superstar fran enjoy the day we'll talk to you soon you thank you folks thank you. for coming thank you. thank you everybody we'll see you next week all right <laughs>